Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at another creative tool here in Luminar Neo and more specifically, we will be looking at the powerful mood tool. So once again, we are here in Luminar Neo, we are in the edit module and we are looking at our toolbar here. Now in the middle of it, we have the creative section with the mood tool in the middle of the list. When we click on this little arrow, you can see it opens up. And when we look at it like this, we have one drop down box and three sliders. So just as always, we're going to start by looking at the options we have here. Now, starting by looking at the choose LUT. So this drop box is basically where all your LUTs are stored. Now, uh, your view may be look a little bit differently as we have some of our own LUT already installed here. However, when I go down with the list and I get to the cinematic toning, that's most likely the first one you're going to see on your list. So these are the options. These are the LUTs we can use. And I will show you in a moment how we're going to use them. So let's just say that those are the color lookup tables stored in Luminar Neo. When we go back to the top of the list, you can see we have a two options here. Add custom LUT file, which I'll show you in a moment how to do that. And also download new LUT files. So when you click on the download new LUT files, it brings you to the website of Skyloom and you can purchase additional LUTs from there. So that was the choose LUT drop down box. And now let's have a look at the three sliders here. But in order to do that, let's pick one of the LUTs we already have here. So let's say we're going to use this bright 01. And now we can have a look at the actual sliders. Starting with the amount, this slider lets you reduce the intensity of LUT. By default is on 30. Now you can completely switch off the effect by bringing the amount completely to zero, or you can really push it by bringing it all the way up to 100. And then it really depends how the LUT was built and what kind of effect you're looking for uh, on how much of the amount you're going to put in. So again, by default, it's on 30. Here is a good moment to remind you two things. When you want to reset your sliders to their default value or to zero, all you need to do is to double click on their name. And also when we use these sliders, I really suggest you to go all the way in and push them as much as you can so you can see what they do and you can also understand what effect they're going to have to your photo. So that was the quick two reminders. And then we push the slider and we can look at the next slider. So the next slider is called contrast. This slider impacts the overall contrast of an image and it can be used to refine the LUT appearance. So once again, when we push the amount, um, we can play around with the contrast. We can either add more contrast when we go towards the right, or we can remove the contrast when we go towards the left. Once again, we can just double click on its name and it resets. After that, we have the saturation slider and this slider impacts the overall saturation of the image and it can also be used to refine the LUT appearance. So similarly, those two are here. Uh, they do pretty much the same job as if you would use them in a develop panel. However, this is a little shortcut so you don't have to go back and forward. So with the saturation, when we go towards the right, we adding the saturation. When we go towards the left, we removing the saturation. When we go all the way, we make pretty much a black and white image. So the first thing I want to show you is how we can install new LUTs in the mood tool here in Luminar Neo. So this is the good time to remind you that if you want to follow me along and if you want to do the edit on your own computer, all you need to do is to head into the description, follow the link there and then head to our Dropbox where you can download the sample files. 
Now today is a little bit different as with your sample files, you're not only going to get images, but you're also going to get five of our favorite LUTs from our brand new Luminar Neo Power Bundle. Now, if you want to find out more about our power bundle, which is full of skies, overlays, textures, sky objects, LUTs and presets, you should definitely follow the link in the description and learn more about this incredible bundle. Now, this new bundle includes 850 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. And it also includes all the episodes of the Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained. The benefit of it is that all these episodes are in 4K quality, they don't have any of the intros, so they are cut out just for the main part, there are no ads for them, and they include all the sample files. So if you would like to have all the episodes sorted for yourself in a nice library, together with the full power bundle for Luminar Neo, then this product is definitely for you. So once again, if you want, make sure you check out the link in the description. So now that is out of the way so we can get on with the installation. So for that, we're going to need our sample files. And as you can see, we have the five images here. And then with it, we get this little LUT samples folder. So when we open it, you can see inside we get the five files of the LUTs. They should have this little dot cube format. And while we're here, let's talk about the LUTs. The LUT stands for lookup table and it's commonly used by video editors and filmmakers. But recently it also became very popular among photographers. What are the lookup tables? They are essentially a simple way to alter an image, color and tone. They will rework and remap the color science of an image from its original state onto the target output of one's particular taste. So what you can do with the LUT is basically tell the program that any orange color on the image can be explained as a green color. So basically the computer look at the data of the image and anytime it see orange, it turn it to green. That is very basic, simple way to understand what the LUT does. But like this, you can do so much more editing and so much more effects. So we're not going to go much deeper in it. I just wanted you to know what the LUT stands for and what it does. And we're going to go back to Luminar Neo to import the files. Now, as you can see, we are still in edit module still looking at the creative section of our toolbar and we are still in our mood tool. So to import the LUTs, we need to click on our drop down box and we're going to select the very first option, add custom LUT file. Now by clicking on that, that will open a new window where we have to select the new LUTs. So once you download your sample files and unzip them, you can simply go into the LUT samples and select them all. You can do that with mouse or you can use Ctrl or Command A. Once you select them, you simply click on add and they will in a few seconds get imported into the application. Once they get imported into the mood tool, you will find them in the same drop down menu as I showed you earlier. So we will click on the choose LUT here. And as you can see, we have the custom LUTs here. Now, right at the top of the list are five of our LUTs we just imported. And this is where all the custom LUTs are. When you go down, when you scroll down, you can see that after that you get into the default LUTs provided by Skylum. Now the LUTs in the list get sorted alphabetically just so it's easier to navigate amongst them. So now we have the LUTs installed. So just a quick reminder, if you want, you can simply delete any of the LUTs by clicking on the little bin next to them. So it's really simple. I don't need to show you if you need to delete any of your LUTs, you just click on this little bin. So now we know how the sliders work and we also know how to import the new LUT into the application. Since this is out of the way, now we're going to practice on some images. Starting with this sample image right here, we can use the elegant LUT. So we just click on it and you can see that it gets applied to the image. Now, when we're going to work with the mood tool, we're going to work a lot with this little eye button here. And what it does, it basically gives us the preview of before and after. So this is how it looked before. This is how it looked after. Usually when I'm using the LUT for the first time, I like to go inside of the amount and really shift it all the way up so I can see the full effect. Now, obviously on this image, it's too much. So we can adjust the amount somewhere around here. And then we can move to the next slider. I think on this picture, I would like some additional contrast just to make a little bit more impact on the overall image. 
And then definitely I would like to add some saturation to bring those berries out of the green areas behind the portrait. So something like this. So let's have a look at the before and after again. And I think the result is very, very nice. It looks very elegant. It looks very smooth and it's a very, very creative way to adjust your image. As you can see, the edit is very simple. You just use one file, you use three sliders and you can make big color grading adjustment to your image. So once again, before and after. So this was the first example. Now let's jump into the catalog and let's try it on another images. So now we are here in catalog module. And as you can see, we have four images to work on. We have this magical forest. We have this interior image. We have the portrait and the mystical castle. So the first image we're going to be working on is the interior here. So we will select it. We will click on edit and that will bring us straight back to the edit module. Here inside of the edit module, we are going back to our creative section of our toolbar. And again, we are focusing on the mood tool. So we start by selecting the LUT and for this example, we're going to use the bright LUT. So as you can see, as soon as I select it, it gets applied and right away it starts to change the image. So again, we can see before and after. And for what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create this very simple, basic bright look. So we push the bright LUT again all the way to see what result it gives us. But of course, we don't want to go as far. We just want to go somewhere around here. Then we can have a look at the contrast, which I think works very nicely when we push it up. So that way we get some parts of the room popping out. And then with the saturation, do we want to less or more saturated? I think a little bit less. Actually, we want to make it less saturated in overall. So this is your before and after. Now, as always, quite often the mood uh, tool works very well with other tools. And for example, when you use this bright LUT, good idea is to use the landscape tool and specifically the dehaze slider here. It actually bring, bring back some of the details of your image here. Let me show you the before and after. It just makes it all a little bit more natural. But altogether, let's have a look at the before and after. And the difference is huge. And once again, I really love the idea of being able to edit the image and the color grading with just one drop down menu and few sliders. Going back to our catalog module, we're going to be working on this portrait image right here, and we will bring it back to our edit module. Now we will use this image uh, to prove you that you can use the LUTs in the mood tool, not only to create color effect, but also to turn the image into the black and white picture. So let's go for it. Let's go into the mood. And again, let's choose the LUT. And in our case, we're going to use the film noir LUT. Now, as you can see, it haven't removed the colors. It's not black and white. And the reason is that we haven't pushed the slider. When we push the slider all the way, you can see how it applies the beautiful LUT and beautiful black and white effect to the image. This is before and after. I really, really like this look. Of course, we can help to it by pushing the contrast and making the background even darker. For this image, we have nothing to do with the saturation because there are no colors on it. So we leave it the way it is. Once again, let's have a look at the before and after. And I know that you can also use a black and white tool in our essential tools, but I think this is much easier and the look and the result is beautiful. But now it's time to show you how we can use the LUT to completely transform your image and turn it towards direction nobody expected. So for this, we're going to use this magic forest and we once again going to bring it into the edit module. Once again, we are in our mood tool and the LUT we're going to choose is called mystery. It's the LUT number four. Once we select it, we're going to make it all nicely visible and we will push the amount all the way. Now you can see the transformation already. How powerful is this? We can see before and after. Of course, we can push the image even further. We can add some contrast and we can remove some of the saturation. Now with this LUT, you can see you getting beautiful fade. Some of the colors are disappearing and some other colors are turning to completely different colors. So let's have a look before and after all those colors were bright yellow or red. And now they this really kind of faded, faded yellow, orange colors. So before and after. 
Now, of course, again, the merge tool can be used with multiple additional tools. So in another case, for this image, we can go to our dramatic tool. And here we can push the amount to really push the overall dramatic feel of the image. If we want to make it even further, we can go into the brightness and saturation and actually remove the saturation further. And if we want to build up the mood, we can go into the atmosphere AI, then click on the mode here, maybe leave it on a fog or mist. Let's go for the mist, then push the amount and play around with the depth to see where we want to add the mist. Then we can remove it a little bit like this. And what we can do, we can check if maybe the fog doesn't look better, which I think it does, and create something like this. So now let's have a look at the before and after. I mean, the difference is huge. And this was really to show you how the LUT in combination with other tools can completely transform your image. And to finish this tutorial, we're going to be creating beautiful cinematic look. And for this, we're going to be using the sample image number five, and it's this mystical castle. So we're going to bring it back to our edit module. And as always, we're looking at our mood tool first. So we're going to choose LUT. And of course, we're going to be using the number five, the cinematic LUT. Again, we're going to push the amount all the way adding some nice green blue tones into the image and really pushing the cinematic look in the overall feel of the image. Then we can add some contrast and with the saturation, we can either remove it or push it up. I think maybe we push it up a little bit. So already this result is really nice. I mean, before and after you can see how it's very cinematic already. What else we can do to it? We can go into our essential tools and use the vignette here. What we can do is to choose the vignette and choose it somewhere around the gate here and then bring the amount down to really close the view and make this really nice vignette border around it. Of course, what it's calling for again is to go into our dramatic tool and in the dramatic tool, just increase the amount to add some dramatic overall feel. And to finish it completely off, we can go into the mystical tool and just add a little bit of the glow and a mystical feel. So now let's have a look at the before and after. Again, this is very pretty already, but this is something completely else. And I really, really like the result. So as always, before we're going to finish, it's time to look at everything we learn in today's tutorial. So we talk about our mood tool here in creative section of our toolbar in edit module in Luminar Neo. And the mood tool has a three sliders and one drop down menu. When you click on the drop down menu, it allows you to choose the LUT, the lookup table, which can affect the colors of your image. We use the elegant on this image. And as you can see, it immediately changes the overall feel of the image. By controlling the amount of the LUT, you can use this slider to completely remove it or apply it 100% to the image. Then you have two more options you can do here in the mood tool. You can add the contrast by moving the slider towards the right, or you can remove it by turning it towards the left. And finally, we have the saturation slider where we can add some saturation or remove it by shifting it towards the left again. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.